Commander Klaus! Alto, you seem to be in a hurry. Yes, I I'm on my way to do some sword training. Did you say training? You are an awfully hard worker. Um, Commander Klaus, if you have the time, do you think you could train with me? Hmm? Me? I've always wanted to spar against you, though the other soldiers may scold me for asking. There is no need to worry. I am sure it was meant to be. I will train with you. Really? You'll do it? I am responsible for keeping tabs on your progress, after all. Let us go. Okay! Thank you! Well, Alto, you may begin whenever you see fit. Right. Here goes. Ah! Well done. You seem used to your sword. Your spatial awareness is much improved. Thank you, sir. I didn't come anywhere close to touching you, though. My weapon is designed to grant me the initiative in most situations. Plus, your movements are still predictable. You must train further. I knew it. I'll have to work harder. I will say I am surprised you managed to apply your training this quickly. Be sure not to overwork yourself. A sword can be replaced. A body cannot. Yes, Commander Klaus. Thank you. I do want to become stronger, though. Both in mind and body. Hmm. Do you feel as though you are not strong enough? No, it's not that. I just... I can't do anything by myself to reverse the crystallization. Plus, the witches have to go through a lot of pain to use their power. If I'm stronger, they'll be able to come to me when they need help. So you want to be someone they can depend on? Hmm. Commander? Does that mean you believe myself and the others are inadequate? No, not at all. That's not what I meant. <laughs> I know, Alto. You are not that arrogant of a person. But to be perfectly honest, I do feel some inadequacy. Uh, what do you mean? We always expect the witches to use their powers to help us. The nobles and the common folk expect the same thing. Power belongs to those who are born with it. Others must rely on them. Your wish is to be strong, so that the witches can depend on you instead. Such naivety makes me feel... Nostalgic. Naivety? You come from Mithra, correct? I know there were many good people there. Yes. Everyone was very kind. Then you must work as hard as you can. Do not stop training. That is the only way you will rescue those who have been crystallized. Yes, sir. I hope you come visit once everyone is back in the village, Commander. Though, it may be difficult for you to get days off. Me? Visit your village? Hmm. Huh. I will consider it. Alto. You have an instinct unique among those of the 9th Regiment. Hold that dear to you. I will be counting on you. Uh, yes, sir! Thank you!
Um, Commander Klaus, are you free? If you need me, I would be glad to make time. What is the matter? Is there something on your mind? Oh, uh, well, not exactly. I was wondering if you wanted to spend some time together. We don't really have much chance to talk outside of expeditions, so I thought it might be nice to hang out a bit, if that's okay with you. Hmm. You are correct. I guess I should spread my wings a bit. How could I say no to you, Alto? Okay! Now there's a face I don't see much. You here with Alto? Indeed. I could not refuse one of my favorite subordinates. My apologies, but could I ask for something on the weaker side? I have plans for later. It's always work, work, work with you, huh? And what about you, Alto? I'll have an orange juice. Gotcha. I can't wait for the day you start drinking, Alto. I'm surprised. I never thought you and Kayash knew each other. Yes. When I was a low-ranking soldier, I would come here to listen to rumors. I do not mind the atmosphere, though. The ebb and flow, the busyness. You're okay with noisy places? You don't really seem the type. I have nothing against a social atmosphere. Coming here is refreshing for me. I have been alone for a long, long time. I see now. Hmm? You're always quick to look after us, Commander. But you avoid other people. That's why I wanted to talk to you more. You seem so lonely. You were very direct, Alto. Not to say I'm surprised. S sorry No, there is no need to worry. I was born in a world torn asunder by war. War? Even if we wished for peace, it was impossible to maintain. People died in droves, almost as if they didn't matter. I always wondered, why were we born in the first place just to die? Can anyone be saved? I became lost in hopelessness. I spent years searching for a meaning to life. Maybe the loneliness you see within me is a residual effect of those times. But now, I have a goal. The Anthem program has nearly come to fruition. Back during the war, were you alone then too? No. There was someone I called my friend. Was? What happened to them? He is no longer with us. It was long ago. Um, Commander Klaus? What is it, Alto? I'm going to work harder, so I can live up to your standards. I want to be a friend you can talk to, and laugh with. <laughs> you probably think I'm being a bit presumptuous, but I will become a knight equal to you. That way you can depend on me. I see. Well, thank you, Alto. A friend to talk to and laugh with, huh? What a very Alto thing to say. Sorry to interrupt this touching moment, but I've got your orders. Fresh squeezed OJ for you, Alto, and a nice pint of ale for Klaus. Thank you, Kailash. Well, I suppose now is an appropriate time to relax and drink. Shall we make a toast? Yes. To your future knighthood, and to the Anthem program, with which we will fulfill the wishes of humanity. Cheers! Thank you.